Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Sagittarius? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I do want to apologize. I know we are a bit behind on our readings. We have tons of new videos coming up as well as a lot of changes that I will be announcing. Um, so you guys definitely stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of August 2021. Now, your first card here is the Nine of Wands, the High Priest, the Page of Swords, the Wheel of the Year, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Emperor, Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. What the heck is going on, Sagittarius? Don't mind me. Let me have a bit of... Iced coffee. Um, been doing the videos and my throat is a bit dry. <laughs> Anyways, okay. What's going on with you guys? Um, what I'm seeing here is... There is a culmination that you are currently either dealing with or you will be walking towards that type of decision making. Now, with the nine of wands, you're giving up on a situation. For some of you guys, this could be a marriage. For others, this could be a relationship. This could be a commitment. Something is just not working anymore. Um, and the nine of wands is your current position. So what they are saying here is you've gotten to a point where you're no longer putting effort or you no longer will be putting effort. Um, it's like, you know, I feel you guys exhausted. I feel you guys tired. Um, now, this could be not necessarily in relationships for some of you guys. This could be um, in general, the family dynamic. It's almost like there is a feeling of I am about ready to walk away and it's not me giving up. I feel that you guys have gone above and beyond to make it work. Um, but with the Page of Swords, there is there is a need to cut the cord, okay? Now, for some of you guys, this could be, um, like I said, a relationship. This can also be a family dynamic. For others of you, this could be in connection with your children. There is a situation where you've gone above and beyond you've overextended your love your effort um with the page of swords though there is like i said you have to cut the cord it's like when do you get to the point of understanding that you yourself are part of the problem um it's almost like you either have a tendency of you know being there um or getting people out of ruts, or getting people out of bad situations. Um, and, and it's almost like in a loving way, in a genuine way. Um, but what they are showing me here is it, it's, it's having the need to see or to realize. If you're dealing with this as in regards to your children, um, what they're telling you is, can you really blame them? Can you really blame them for every time life gets hard, they expect you to come and be their savior? Can you blame them if you've taught them that that's how it's going to be, that it's always been that way? So what they're saying is acknowledging that you're part of the problem. If you're in a relationship and it just seems to, you know, it's a toxic environment or it's a toxic partner or it's a person that you know deep down to the core of you that instead of bringing out the best in you, they bring out the worst in you. Can you really blame them for being narcissistic? Can you really blame them for being um, alcoholic? Or, you know, they have a tendency of mentally or physically abusing you. Can you really blame them 100% when you often choose to remain in that situation? So this is about cutting the cord and understanding that you are part of the problem if you continuously keep allowing this behavior. Now, with the Ten of Swords here, there's a definite ending. Um, it, it's having to make a decision, and I see you guys really rushing into that decision. So 
I feel it's circumstantial. For some of you guys, you may be put in a situation where you kind of have to think on your feet um, and you have to make that choice, that decision. Um, and it's not going to be an easy decision, decision, but it's going to be necessary. And the reason why I say circumstantial, it's like you are put in a situation that the person that you're dealing with that has a tendency of uh, basically expecting or uh, relying so much on you is going to make it's going to make um, a stupid move a stupid decision and you have to react in in a very quick and hasty way um, however I feel that when this happens the course and the wheel starts to turn in your favor it's about putting your burdens down um, it's about no longer picking up other people's slack. It's about taking self-responsibility. Um, I understand if, as an example, if you're dealing with a, you know, a child of yours or someone in your, you know, in your home, in the family dynamic that is very toxic or they just don't want to change and they keep making the same mistakes over and over, um, I understand if, if it is a child how difficult that is, you know, from from a, a, a mother's heart or a father's heart, you're always going to want to be there for them. You're always going to want to protect them, to provide for them even. Um, but at the same time, you, you kind of have to take a step back and realize, okay, am I part of this problem? Because the more you give, the more they take. And you can't really blame the taker if you're the one that's putting yourself in the crossfire. If you're putting yourself in a situation to continuously keep being taken advantage of. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you is that when you make this decision that I do see unfolding, you're taking your power back. But not only that, you are no longer, it's almost like you're disarming them. You're weakening them in a positive way because they have no other choice than to self-reflect and to base their future decisions on understanding that they themselves are the ones that are going to have to deal with the consequences of their actions. Now, this could be a relationship as well. And I feel that if it is a relationship for some of you guys, it's like you've gotten to your wit's end. Um, there is no saving this relationship. There is no, you can't give life to something that is already dead. Um, and I feel that you've tried on multiple occasions. And for some of you guys, you know, loyalty could be your downfall. Uh, it's like you, once you get to that point of genuinely loving someone and being loyal to them, like, you know, you kind of, it's really hard for you to give up or walk away from that. Um, but do not let your loyalty enslave you to a situation that is extremely toxic. And again, it's about putting your burdens down and no longer picking up on other people's uh, lack, you know, slacking off. Um, the wheel of the year is speaking about things progressing in a positive way, but it, it will unfold once you've dealt with this situation here. Once you understand that there is certain, in order for you to expect changes from other people, you have to make those changes yourself as well. Um, now you do have here the emperor card with the three of pentacles. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where um, there is a third party involved. If it is, as an example, if you are dealing with a, uh, you know, a son, a daughter um, that is extremely, you know, self-destructive, uh, it could be that they, you know, the partner that they're with has a lot to do with that, has a lot to do with you know, it's kind of like instead of helping them build themselves, they're kind of dragging them down. Um, and, and I see that for some of you guys, that could be the situation. However, the emperor card is structure. So they are telling you to put your foot down. They're telling you to no longer go and save them. No longer, you know, think of them from a mother or fa father's heart, but see them as they are grown adults and they've made that decision. Let them deal with their consequences from those decisions. Uh, it's it's about no longer saving people, Sagittarius. I hope that makes sense. Um, and if it is, you know, a situation that it has to do with love and romance, what they're telling you here is 
You got to put your foot down. You got to learn to put yourself first. And even if you, for some of you guys, if you were dealing with a situation where you kind of are at a dead end with a past relationship and there is uh, this connection or this interest in someone else, this is not a coincidence, Sagittarius, and it could have been that this person was put on your path to help you release this past energy to be able to walk towards a better future, a better connection, or a better relationship. So again, if you are dealing with that situation, sometimes people show up into our lives and give us that change because we ourselves don't really have it in, in us to... Um, it's not that easy for us to let go. So spirit will uh, bring certain people into our lives. And although it may not be something long lasting, it could, but it doesn't always end that way that it's long lasting. They will help you get through this process more ever. So uh, just keep an eye out for that. If you are dealing with this situation, whatever capacity you're going through Sagittarius, at this point, what they're telling you is you got to put your foot down. Uh, you got to choose yourself and your peace of mind. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope this gives you guidance and understanding and we'll see each other soon. Bye.